Da 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 Once upon a time, a princess called Princess Zeitgeist. Yes, basically a normal princess, I would say, and you know, live in the castle and all that type of fancy stuff. Yeah, so you can see the castle right there. See in the background, it's got a royal limo, royal staff, and it's all happy and living with her luxurious products and whatnot. Yes. So the princess, you know, she usually buys a lot of things, go shopping, but, uh, you know, one day she's pissed off because uh, she, uh, it's the same thing over and over again. She wants something different, something new that will satisfy her. Yeah. Her personality is something that is very difficult to satisfy. So then this mentor dude or whatever, he, he had that the princess go out for a drive in the countryside in a royal limo. So the princess agreed, they went for a drive. And they were driving very fast, you see, because, you know, they owned all the roads and all that. Then, they almost hit this guy, see, in the middle of the road, yes. It's quite terrible, see. Now the princess, she was fascinated by this guy, really, and so she invited him inside. She had never met the common people before, and they had a long chat and conversation. This guy basically wore manufactured clothing, and he talked about thinking of other things other than watching people on television, shopping, and buying other things princess and living her life. was fascinated, so she invited him back to the castle to meet her parents, the king and the queen, yes. After that, the guy starts telling her about things, you know, like uh, intellectual thought processes, like pluralism, critical thinking, and of course, quest for knowledge and education, which surprises the princess because her parents never educated her in this manner before. Or perhaps she was just too clueless about the whole thing. The guy talks about a wide range of topics, including public welfare, foreign countries and national economy, issues, hands her material to read, and the princess is fascinated by all this talk. But her father, the king, doesn't appreciate all this, you know? After all, him educating her in the wrong manner, you know, it could lead to a uh, Revolution in the kingdom. So the king orders the guy to be thrown out of the castle and they send him far away. She is compelled, you know? She is really compelled to print this. She wants to meet the guy. She wants to be with the guy because he's opened up a whole new world for her to see. So she sneaks out of the castle to try to find him. Um, she goes on a quest, a journey. So as she goes to try to find him, like, she encounters many things that she's never had to encounter before, like a bus, for example. But he had told her about it, so she is willing to try now. Yes, indeed. She goes out into the real world, and she's fascinated by all these things that she sees. Indeed. During the journey, she starts talking to the regular civilians, talks to many different people, gets their opinion and feedback. It turns out that uh, her father's kingdom isn't doing as well as she always thought, or perhaps she just never realized how bad things were. People were talking about how their lives weren't as good and could be improved and how the king's rule had many flaws in it. So the princess, she appreciated this and uh, got the opinion of many people. Yes, indeed, many people you can see. So she finally finds the guy and they meet up again. So the princess, yeah, she talks to him about all this stuff that she's seen and the guy is impressed thoroughly, you know? The guy, he is impressed by her knowledge after she talks to him about how the people are not doing so well and uh, stuff like that. He's impressed, you know? Before that, she was completely clueless. She, uh, apparently, it turns out the guy is like the head of some political organization and he's rallying the support. So the princess goes to hear him speak at one of his political meetings. But then, the security forces of the king come and break up the meeting and they start taking everyone in. Everyone surrenders to them. Yeah, the princess is caught right in the middle of the whole situation. Fortunately for the princess, one of the officers recognizes her, and she's like, oh, I'm the princess, and it's like, oh, you're the princess, and then giving ample time for the guy to the escape. The, so the princess goes back to the castle, and their father is angry. The king is angry because she's all supporting these ideas, and she's ran away, and like, they're all worried. The princess talks about uh, many important issues affecting the people in the kingdom, including democracy, better government, and economics to which her father does not take kindly to because that means that his rule will be affected by this. The king and princess are suddenly surprised by an, uh, a mob of people, a crowd, 
and it's the guy. He's been leading them. And then they overthrow the king. So the princess and the guy, they get married and they live happily ever after. And then they go shopping and uh, do many of the mindless things that the princess was already doing before she even met the guy. Actually, you know what? I guess uh, some things just never change, eh? Ha <laughs> ha.